Yo, this is a special, special guest on my main man, Michael Smith. My main man, as of this weekend, 2023 Pro Football Hall of Fame class member, Demarcus Ware, formerly of the Dallas Cowboys and Super Bowl champion with the Denver Broncos. Bro, we go way back. It is so good yeah. to see you. So good to see you with that hat uh, as a Hall of Famer, so deserving. I mean, you you smile about everything, so that smile is always on your face, but I'm sure it's bigger than ever now. You are joining sure, they, me they, on behalf – I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was going to say, you are joining me on behalf of Sleep Number, uh, the official sleep and wellness partner of the NFL. And along those lines, I'll ask you this, because I know your story, all right? Um, at one point in high school, you quit football to play basketball. You yeah. sold soda at – the Auburn games. You grew up in Auburn, Alabama, but Auburn nor Alabama recruited you. You ended up at Troy, okay? You ought to be a first-round pick of the Dallas Cowboys at Jerry Jones' behest, um, and the rest is literally history, NFL history. How has this Hall of Fame honor, like how have you reflected on your remarkable journey now that you're about to culminate it in the Hall of Fame? I go back and I just think about just where I started. Uh, I mean, picking 25 cents an egg in a chicken coop, cutting, you know, 10 acres of grass. I mean, driving to an Auburn University game um, to um, to sell Cokes, right, just to make money for the family. And coming from, you know, Troy University, where there were so many doubters, and then going into a draft class that was amazing and being a first rounder, not only just a first rounder, but one of the best. And sometimes I, you know, pinch myself a little bit um, because I see all that hard work paying off. And every single time I, I just wake up now, I'm like, dude, do you know what you have done? Usually, I like, I've never went back to reflect anything. I have every single newspaper clipping that has been printed out and I have it in a box. And I never went back and looked. I just put my head down to the plow and I just worked and I just played and just tried to be the best player that I could. But now I go back and I'm like, wait a minute. You, you was a baller. <laughs> you know, <and> but, <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> but you don't, you don't look at it that way because I don't, I don't see the arrogance. I'm not an arrogant person like that. No. But now I go no. back, you know what you did? You did a great job. Pat yourself on the back, but there's more to come. There's more people to, um, to effect with the platform that the Hall of Fame has given you, the platform that Sleep Number has given me. Like, I mean, just being able to talk and have these interviews, I, I, I'm i blessed for that, right? And yeah. to be able to just share like each and every day. I hear that, man. No, I mean, you will talk about a diamond in the rough. You were slept on by the scouting community <laughs> yeah. and look at you now. Uh, again, speaking of sleep, how much sleep have you lost over your speech? You know, it was so crazy, man. I haven't really lost any sleep at all um, because, to be honest with you, when you have a company like Sleep Number that um, goes over and beyond, right? I mean, I'm talking about a bit that has an app with the cell phone that you can, mm -hmm. you know, rate, lower, heat. I mean, you name it, all the technologies in there. But when you go to sleep at night, and when you have a bed <laughs> holding you like this, I'm talking about when, some, when it's almost like somebody holding you and it's moving around and you feel good. This is, I don't lose, I don't lose sleep, okay? But when DeMarcus, I wake let me, up- DeMarcus, lose, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That was smooth. You always been smooth, but that was smooth. I ain't know you was a pitch man like that. Like that was a <laughs> swim move, bed, dog. The bed, was hold, like, the bed hold me every night. I'm so, they have, I'm so. Listen, I'm listen so. they have a scientist. They have a scientist coming to the Hall of Fame. They're a Hall of Fame company, but they have a scientist come to the Hall of Fame to talk, talk, talk to the top to All get right. that information, to put inside of the bed, put that technology in the bed so you can purchase this bed and feel just like I love that. it. Come Come on. I'm in it. Hook me up. Hook me up with that discount. But when you're making that speech, it. when you when you <laughs> when, when you when you making that speech, you got on that gold jacket. Okay. Tell me this. Everybody gonna be on the edge of their seat. What's the part that's gonna make Demarcus Ware cry? Um. Actually, I think it'll be two. When I start talking about my mom, whoo, that's gonna be a, and my mom and granddad that are gonna be there. Um. But probably. When I remember when I went to Peyton Manning's speech and I was in front row and I was looking at him and I remember him going through his speech 
And he said, you're going to be up here. When I, mm. when I when when he told me that when I was just sitting there in those seats and I saw all of those gold jackets and the best guys that I looked up to. Yeah. Now, when I go and on, up on that podium and when I talk about them and when I turn around, I know that I am accepted into the best fraternity ever. And I will be putting on that gold jacket and saying that I am in the locker room with you guys now, not in the stands. I'm up here with you, giving my speech. And the coolest thing is those guys look forward to listening to your story because all of yeah. them have an amazing story. I, 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 can, I cannot wait. That might be that might be a moment that I get choked up on. I, I think a lot of people um, are going to get emotional listening to your story. It really is incredible. Do you ever think about, like, we talked about the, the path, the, 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 the incredible path to this point. Um, mm -hmm. What would you be doing if you hadn't made it in football? <laughs> um, I probably would have joined the ROTC program at Troy. I actually already had it set up. I was going to join the ROTC program at Troy. I was going to give four years to the military. I was going to come out and be an officer. I was going to do something with computer science. I don't know exactly what it was in the military. And I was going to travel. I was going to travel and try to give them probably about 12 years. I was going to retire and just start my own company. So I, I, okay. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And if I, yeah. at the end of it, I knew my mom couldn't pay for it. So I would let the U.S., the United States of America, pay for my school. <laughs> and I was going yeah. to give something back to them and then build something of my own. So I thought she was going to say sing. So, again, oh, speaking, of, sp Ooh. speaking of sleep, Ooh. I didn't know you could sing. You are singing Ooh. the national anthem ahead of the Hall of Fame game. Okay? You want to talk about some pressure. Now, DeMarcus, I got to know. Can you sing or can you sing? Because I ain't know this about you. I thought I knew everything about you. Know you. What, you know what? I'm singing right now, but I'm a sing the national anthem. I um, heard that. It's one of where, you know, in, in junior high, high school, I was in a singing group. And, you know, it's so cool to see yourself transition, not only to being able to sing, but being able to sing, you know, something that, <laughs> that, um, that means so much, not just to the football community, but to the world, yeah. what the world yeah. stands for. And um, it's, um, it's, it's, to me, that is that moment. I think I'm getting nervous right now, even just talking about it, because you, yeah. this is a slow act. I can get up there and talk about my life all day, but when you have to build something out, that's different. That's a whole totally wanna, different thing. Actually, coming you can, from you can a warm up right here with me if you want. No, we, you we're not going right to do that. I, I warmed up and had my practice already this morning. <laughs> so we're going to talk some football. We're going to talk Hall of Fame. We're going to talk sleep number today. How'd we're you, not, not, but how, we're not saying. But, but for real though, how, how'd you land this gig? How'd this come about to, to um, sing a national anthem? I, um, at the, um, at the Super Bowl, we introduced ourselves to um, the committee of uh, the Hall of Fame committee. And, you know, a couple of things you had to just talk about yourself, introduce yourself and, and name one thing that they don't know about you. And I said, well, I sing. OK. So, so, and I, so it wasn't just I, me. I no, I sung something. And they're like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, you want to sing the, the national anthem? And I'm like, nah, whatever, man. <laughs> and then I, I, I went up there to my official visit with me and Joe Klecko and a couple of other guys. And I saw in the newspaper, like, DeMarcus is singing a national anthem. And I was like, you know what? This is a platform, again, that God put in your life for a reason. And I started thinking of why you wanted to do it. And, you know, no one knows this, but I remember me and Demarius Thomas, we used to sing all the time. We sing Bob Marley music. We're singing the national anthem on silent. We're doing all those things. But now I know he's going to be there in the stands with me. That means something to me. There's not a mistake that can be made. There's only a feeling that I want everybody to feel when I'm singing this song, knowing that it's a reason bigger than a criticism. That's a word right so, there. That's a word right there. You, you, you sing it for DT. Um, yeah. Mirage was the band back yeah. in the day. Just one last thing on the singing. Who do, okay, 
who do you sound like? I mean, we'll find out this weekend, but like if you had to compare yourself to like a sound or a voice, like is there somebody that you that I could imagine that you sound like? No, I sound you, don't, beware. Don't, I sound like beware. beware. <laughs> so, oh, so, so D so D D where is the stage name? That's the stage it's name. The stage name. Mirage, it's it's the stage name. Right. Mirage. And you play the guitar too, right? And you play the guitar, right? Yep. yep. Dude, a, a man, a man of many talents, but obviously nothing. You you did nothing better than hunt and feast on quarterbacks to the tune of 138 and a half sacks. I know you got robbed out of a, out of two 20 sack seasons back in 2011. Okay, oh, gave you, that's why I gave you gave you a half a sack. I remember you remember uh, yep. gave you a half a sack. But man, I'm so proud of you. Uh, I wish we had more time. Uh, I'm really, and I mean that. I say, I say I don't say that loosely. You and I go way back. I know your personal join, journey to parenthood. I can't wait to see those babies in the stand. Hey, text me, man. Let's catch up. Let's chop it up. But Hall of Famer Demarcus Ware. Congratulations, brother. I appreciate your time. My main man, thank you. Thank you so much, man. You take care. All right, talk to you later. Hey, thanks so much for kicking it with your main man, Michael Smith. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, but also subscribe to the podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Rate it, review it, tell your friends about it. Oh, and be sure to follow me on social media.